in module 2 we will talk about uh, body of knowledge and exam tips in this module you shall learn about API 577 body of knowledge and exam tips uh, uh, building inspection and methodology body of knowledge reference codes and standards exam tips and what you shall learn in the next modules if you have any queries please uh, write to us at info at qualityinspector.co.uk or use our chat line or call us visiting our website qualityinspector.co.uk uh, this uh, e-learning online program is prepared by training and inspection services limited from the united kingdom okay first let's see what is this api 577 building inspection and methodology about it's a fairly new course aimed at guiding api outdoor inspector on welding inspection issues for repair of piping pressure vessel storage tank and the like it covers popular welding processes there are eight of them basics of welding inspection welding procedure welder qualification welding material basics of non-destructive examination vt mt pt rt ut et acfm alternative current field measurement hardness testing and their application knowledge of pressure and leak test basic pathology physical and mechanical properties preheat post well heat treatment material test report validability and finally welding issues at refineries and petrochemical plants api statistics show that within the next past six years 660 inspectors were qualified with an average pass rate of around 50 percent there are already two globally established welding inspector qualification cwi and cswip both cwi and c3 as well as api 577 have more or less similar syllabus api 577 has additional information about in-service welding inspection Metallurgical and mechanical properties with emphasis on ASME section 5 for ND examination and ASME section 9 for WPS, PQR, and WPQ verification. API 577 does not claim to be a substitute for the above welding inspection courses, but by attempting, attending API 577, you can increase your chances of passing C sweep or CWI certification significantly plus enjoying the benefit of double certification if you don't have any welding inspector qualification then this course is a great way to start questions on the exam are based on api 577 welding inspection and methodology second edition december 2013 the exam is 3.25 hours long and there are 80 questions of which only 70 are scored the remaining 10 are pre-test which are not scored scored and non-scored questions are shuffled and unmarked so you need to answer all questions if you hold the current api 510 570 or 653 certification you shall automatically qualify to take the api 577 otherwise please refer to the table below prior to submitting the application the minimum experience required must be documented on your application and should have been accrued within the last 10 years so if you have a bachelor degree in engineering you just need a year if you have an associate degree or a two degree in engineering or technology two years and if you have a high school diploma you need two years experience in petrochemical industry area of examination scores you are scored for your performance in the following areas during the examination metallurgy welding process procedure and qualifications definitions acronyms and symbols welding inspection and nde examination refinery and petrochemical plant welding issues and welding materials let's look at the body of knowledge now api 577 exam tests the individual knowledge and expertise in the following of in the field of welding and metallurgy you shall know about terms definition vocabulary popular welding process advantage and disadvantage welding inspection common issues encountered and how to handle them 
WPS PQR and you can verify a WPS against the supporting P PQR using ASME section 9 how to verify a builder qualification against the WPS and building position requirement using ASME section 9 non-destructive examination concept application examiner qualification ND procedure report and equipment the NDT methods are UTRTMT, ACFM, PTVT, and hardness testing, as well as pressure leak testing. Have basic knowledge of metallurgy, physical and mechanical properties of material, metals, possible heat treatment, mill test report, and buildability of materials. Common welding defects, welding repair while in service, hot tapping, and caustic service. And finally, you should have sufficient safety awareness in welding and NDE environment. The following modules presented during the training to cover the body of knowledge. The modules are numbered based on the API 577 table of contents to make the comparison easy for you. Module 1, all you need to know about API certifications. Module 2, API 577, body of knowledge and exam tips. This module. Module 3, terms and definitions. Module 4, welding inspection. Module 5, Welding Processes Module 6, Welding Procedure Module 7, Welding Materials Module 8, Welder Qualification Module 9, Non-Destructive Examinations 10, Metallurgy 11, Refinery and Petrochemical Plant Welding Issues And the last module has two sets of mock exams to cover the important topics within the body of knowledge Some of the modules are divided into sub-modules to uh, make it easier for you. Our API course outline and the subsequent examination question are specifically aimed at verifying these competencies. It's not aimed at verifying whether you can memorize numbers and formulas. After all, what's the point of memorizing in you can easily find them in the relevant document. Exceptions would be the important everyday knowledge that are expected to that you are expected to know. For example, coloring and fluorine con fluoride content of PT consumables shall be less than 1% for austenitic materials. Or the temperature between um, the prop and ambient temperature shall be maximum 25 degree Fahrenheit or 15 degree centigrade. Questions on the exam are based in API RP 577, Building Inspection and Metallurgy, 2nd edition, December 2013. But then API have two major cross reference that's ASME section 9 for WPS, PQR, WPQ and material, PF and A numbers and ASME section 5 for non-destructive examination. If you have chosen uh, our blended courses, that's a combination of e-learning and our classroom training or webinar, then here is our course classroom course schedule. On day one, you shall learn about exam and study tips, terms, conditions, welding inspection, welding process, welding procedure, welding material, and welder qualification. On day two, non-destructive examination, metallurgy, NDE for welds, metallurgy, uh, welding issues, practice question, sets of course material, practice exam to cover the body of knowledge and important topics. And on day three, you will learn have a mock exam review of questions and q and answer session each day consists of four sessions and each session lasts 100 minutes with 20 minutes break in between uh, api standards are normally revised within five years while a two-year extension may be given under exceptional circumstances api authorized inspector and welding inspection is aimed at helping implement api 510 570 and 653 it's not a replacement for internationally recognized welding inspection courses such as CCWF, CWI, and CWB. Reference codes and standards. API 577 is noted as the only reading material for the exam. However, the following codes and reference titles need to be memorized because API want to verify if you know which code and recommended practice to refer to for a specific issue. For example, you should know about API 578 that is a recommended practice for PMI, positive material identification. Uh, please note that you don't need to have deep knowledge of this codes and recommended practice, but just remember the titles. This could be potential exam questions. 
These are API 510 pressure vessel inspection code, ASME section 8 rules for construction of pressure vessels. Remember, ASME section 8 is the construction code, while API 510 is the repair and maintenance code. Both are codes, which means they are mandatory. API 510 is largely based on ASME section 8. API 570 piping inspection code, API 574 inspection practice for piping, ASME B31.3 rules for the process piping code, API recommended practice 578 material verification program or positive material identification PMI, API 650 standard for storage tank, API 653 tank inspection repair alteration and reconstruction, API 2201 that addresses safety concern for welding hot tapping while in service. API 582 welding guidelines in oil and gas, ASME section 9, code for verification of welding procedure and welder qualification. You should also know about non-destructive examination, concept application, examiner qualification, ND procedure, report and equipment. The NDT methods are UT, RT, MT, ACFM, PT, VT, and hardness testing, pressure, and leak testing. Have basic knowledge of metallurgy, physical and mechanical properties of metals, postural heat treatment, mill test report, and buildability of materials. Know about common welding defects, welding repair while in service, hot tapping, and caustic service. And finally, have sufficient safety awareness in welding and NDE environment. NDE technician qualifications are based on one of the following guidelines who re require more or less the same level of experience, training and examination for NDT technicians. ASNT, SNTTC1A is a guideline and the basis for the written practice for qualification of NDE personnel. ASNTCP189 is a standard version of the above and ISO 9712 replaced by um, replaced EN 473 is a European standard for qualification of NDE personnel. So when any of these three comes in, they are about NDE qualifications. Exam tips. Okay, there is no negative marking, therefore it's advisable to answer all the questions. You can increase your chances by narrowing down the possible correct answer by striking off the obvious wrong answers. During the exam, hold the mouse on the possible wrong answer and right click. This would strike them off, helping you to concentrate on the remaining possible answers. All API questions are multi-choice, poor possible answer. API never uses the term such as none of the above or all of the above as possible answer. Remember that all questions carry equal marks. For example, a simple question asking for symbol of magnesium, Mg, or manganese, Mn, has equal mark as that of a half a page long question. Although time management should not be an issue because the exam is 3.24 hours or 195 minutes long for 80 questions, that's an average of 2.5 minutes per question. Nevertheless, before ending the exam, you may wish to keep the pace and also allow some time for reviewing all the questions once again or at least that question, those questions that you are in doubt. It is recommended to flag off those questions that is taking considerable time and come back to them at the end. Note, there is a flag off button below each question. When solving doubtful questions, try to understand as why a particular answer may be right while the other three given answers should be wrong. Eliminate wrong answer to increase your chances of picking the correct answer. Please note that sometimes the wrong answer is quite a valid sp statement, but it is the wrong answer simply because it's either not relevant to the question or the question asked is in negative form, not. Hence, it's very important that you carefully read and understand the question. Some exam API questions contain irrelevant information. This is not aimed to confuse you, but to verify whether you can differentiate between relevant and irrelevant information in an actual scenario. Some questions are solely based on your experience as an inspector. Remember that all certifications, including API 577, require a certain level of experience 
in addition to the education and knowledge. We shall provide pictures and videos to enhance your field experience. API intends to verify your understanding of principles and theory, interpretation and evaluation. So mere memorizing the facts and figures of the study material does not really help. Although a few questions may come straight from API study material, most questions are either rephrased or brought within a context or in a scenario where the question and answer are swapped. Hence, it's very important that you have a clear understanding of fundamentals. Time management is not normally of great importance since the API 577 exam is 3.24 hours long to answer 80 questions, of which 70 are scored. The remaining 10 of pretest and not scored. This question is shuffled, so you don't know which question are scored, which one not scored. This leaves you with approximately two and a half minutes per question. Please note that time using the toilet, checking out and uh, checking in, commenting on any question, reviewing the questions, etc. is coming off your allowance. For better time management, flag up those questions you are not sure of and revisit them once you have completed all other questions. Try to eliminate the absolute wrong answer by negative reasoning in order to increase your chances of getting the answer right. You can see the number of questions you have attempted and the remaining time on the top right hand corner of the computer screen. Remember that all questions carry equal marks and the minimum passing grade is around 70%. So it is logical to attempt a smaller question qu quickly and then in the remaining time try visiting those questions that are longer, more complicated uh, and you're simply stuck spending too much time on it without any progress. And lastly, although education can offset for less experienced candidates, you should appreciate the fact that unless one does not have real hands-on experience in the field, it would be difficult to feel the underlying reason behind some of the codes, standards, and recommended practices. The experience is gained through observation, power of deduction, and is eventually a common sense really. To complement your experience, we shall provide several video clips and illustrations and PowerPoint presentation to enhance your field experience. So let's see what you shall learn in the next modules. On module 3 you will have terms definition, module 4 welding inspection before, during and after welding, module 5 popular welding process, uh, SMAW, GTAW, GMAW, FCAW, SAW, SW, PAW, EJW. Welding procedure WPS and PQR Welding material P, F, and A number, AWS number, consumables. And module 8, welder qualification, WPQT. Module 9 is about NDE, BT, MT, PT, UT, RT, ACFM, and LT. And module 10 is about metallurgy, physical and mechanical properties, post weld heat treatment, material test reports, weldability. Module 11, welding issues, hot tapping, caustic service, welding defects. And we have set two sets of mock exams to cover the important topics within body of knowledge as well as PowerPoint presentation and flashcards of important issues.